everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Afan's Dynamics Journey. My name is Mohammad Afan, and in today's video, I will demonstrate how to create a trial version for Dynamics 365 sales. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So we will start by typing Microsoft Dynamics 365 sales trial. And once we search this, we can click on this first link. Once we click on this first link, we can see um, all the different products that are being offered by Microsoft, that is Dynamics by Sales, Customer Service, Field Service, and so on. So for our demonstration purposes, we will go with Dynamics 365 Sales and we will click on Try for Free. Once we click on this, we see that it is asking for the email address to start a free trial. We have an option to use work email ID or a personal email ID. The only difference is that with the work email ID, we have to perform lesser options compared to the personal email ID. But for our demonstration purpose, I'll go with a personal email ID. Let me type in my email address. Um, click on this checkbox and start your free trial. So it is saying that please enter your work account for best trial experience as I don't have a work account right now because I'm using my personal email ID. I'll go with continue with um, creating a new account. Click on setup and then wait for some seconds and then it will ask you again for the email address. Click on next. So it is asking that um, I need to create a new account. So for that, I'll click on set up an account. So under this, um, on this page, it will ask me about uh, about further details like first name, last name, job title, the number, and the region. So I will type in my details. I'll skip the middle name. I'll only put the mandatory fields. Company name can be Dynamic Journey. From here, you have to select. Um, the size of the company, say five to nine people, and for the region, as I'm based in Canada, I'll go with the Canadian region. So it's here. If you want, you can check box um, these two options, but I'm not doing it right now. Click on next. Now it is asking me for um, further security checks, so it will be sending me a verification code. Click on send verification code. It will send me the verification code on the number that I have entered in the previous screen as a business number. Click on send verification code. It will send me a verification code right now. Let me enter the verification code. Click on verify giving you a suggestion for your domain name you can always change your domain name like based on or uh, based on um, your uh, convenience let me put in the password and next so on this page, they are asking you to add a payment method. So if you read over here, they are saying that the payment method, that is your credit card or the debit card, will only be used for verification purposes and you won't be charged for anything. So go ahead and type in your credit card details over here 
and the address and then click on save. Once you are done with entering your credit or debit card details, you will be redirected to this confirmation details page. And on this, you can see that thanks for signing up for Dynamics 365 sales premium trial. And then the confirmation email will be sent to your personal email address you have entered. And then you can click on get started. There is a possibility that this tab may change in the future due to changes made by Microsoft. The trial version gives you access to of about 30 days to the application and it can be extended for another 30 days. But you always have an option to move from the trial version to the page version to the paid version. So um, now we are on a screen that is a Power Platform Admin Center and it is asking to create a new environment. An environment is basically a space where you can store and manage your data, application, customization, and so on. Let me select a name for my environment. So let me type it Dynamics Journey. And then you can choose a group if you have any. Select the region. For our purpose, we have um, Canada. Select as default region and then the type will be the trial the trial subscription base and then we can click on next so over here you can see the language is selected as english the currency is canadian dollars the security group if um, as we are creating a new environment so we don't have any security groups set up as of now so we can select none and then um, if you click on this uh, url you can define your own unique url let's say if i put um the dynamics um you can turn it on or off in the metamorphosis 5 um, applications and it will if you this uh, click on this drop down button you can see all the applications that will be deployed so for our purpose the sales premium trial is there and then click on save so okay so it is saying that the url is not fine let's see if it works Yeah, so you see now an environment with the name Dynamics Journey is created. Right now it is in a state of preparing and um, we can access this environment when the state is changed to ready. Um, this is actually a root environment. We cannot delete this root environment. So Dynamics 365 Sales offers a 30 days free trial with the sales premium license. Once we have uh, the environment ready, we can go in to the um, to our application and then, you know, we can I can walk you through how the sales pre uh, the sales hub and the sales trial applications look like. Let's wait for the environment to get ready. Now you can see that this um, environment dynamics journey is in ready state. Let's click on this environment. Once we click on this environment, you can see that um, there is an environment URL. Let's open this environment URL in another tab. Let's wait for a few seconds. Um, now you can see um, different applications over here, including sales hub, sales team member, sales trial. Let's open the sales trial app. Once we open the sales trial hub, you can see um, a dashboard being opening right now. Let's wait for the dashboard to appear. You can see a sales interactive dashboard. 
it is providing um, helpful sales insight based on the sample data. Now let's go. So on, on the left hand side, you see this is the site, um, site map where you can see different tables being listed. And this is called the area. Let's go to the application setting. Under the application setting, you can see different sales inside feature like lead scoring, conversation intelligence, sales accelerator, and so on. Let's click on sales trial again so that we can see the other applications. Now let's go to the sales team member app. So as discussed in the previous video, the sales team member app is actually for users who just want the basic access for reporting purposes. So that's why we have limited numbers of tables available over here. Unlike the tables that we just saw in the sales trial application. So these are um, the list of activities. We have um, accounts and contacts, leads and opportunities. And now let's click, uh, let's go back to our sales trial application. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now let's click over here and then select admin and open in a new tab. So this will take us to Microsoft 365 admin center page and over here we can add users and we can also look uh, for the licenses that we have right now. So under billing, let's click on licenses. So you can, you can see that we have a Dynamics 365 sales premium license available. So and due to which we are able to see the sales hub application over here let me show you so basically over here we are able to see sales of application because we have a sales premium license available now let's select show all and underneath click on all admin centers and then open this under all admin center page open this dynamics 365 applications in a new tab So this will open a Power of Platform Admin Center page and we can see the environment we just created right now. So click on this environment and on the right hand side under resources, click on Dynamics 365 apps. So you can see all the applications with, with the status. So right now what we are doing, we are um, going to add a Dynamics 365 sales sales professional application. So for that, let's click on install app and there's and, and search for the sales professional application. if you can't find the sales professional application there is another way to adding that application click on open app source and over here you can search for dynamics 365 sales professional over here then click get it now So over here you have to select the environment for like and select the dynamics environment we have and then you can check tick mark these and then install so if we search for the app this one dynamics required sales so you see the status is still installing so once it is installed we can then access our sales professional application as you can see that the sales professional application is now installed. Let's go back over here 
and look for Dynamics 65 Sales Professional app. So over here, you can see that the application is visible. Click on this application. And you can see a sales interactive dashboard over here listing down different opportunities, leads, activities, and phone calls. You can see different types of tables that are being listed over here. As I mentioned in my previous video, this application comes with few limitations with regards to creating custom tables, views, dashboard and queues and so on. So we are now done with creating a trial version for Dynamics 365 sales and we have also added a sales professional application as well. I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, we will discuss about Microsoft Relationship Sales and Microsoft Sales Copilot. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights. And thanks again for watching the video. Bye for now.